This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Thanks for choosing News 4. I'm Corey Stark. Here are some of the stories making headlines. Today, Illinois reported 168 more COVID-19 deaths. That's the highest one-day death toll since May. In just about eight hours, tougher restrictions take effect in Illinois. Governor J.B. Pritzker is asking people to only leave their homes for things like school, work, and grocery shopping. The St. Louis Regional Pandemic Task Force reports more record-breaking numbers today. The seven-day average of hospital admissions hit a record high with 126. The seven-day average of hospitalizations jumped to 783. That's a record. And the number of inpatient confirmed COVID hospitalizations also set a record at 849. Jefferson County remains a code red and the situation has gotten so bad the county is now changing its protocols to keep up with COVID cases. So starting tomorrow, the county health department will no longer contact patients to release them from their 10 day or 14 day quarantines. The health director says their staff needs that time to inform people of new positive tests. Let's take a quick look at your forewarned forecast. Well, not as warm, but still mild tomorrow, but not as windy either. 66 for the high, but a lot of cloud cover. In fact, mostly cloudy to overcast tomorrow and eventually a chance for a few light showers. That's going to come in the late afternoon and evening. I don't think it's real widespread, but some spotty light showers late day and evening to keep an eye out for Friday. We are going to have some more scattered rain on Saturday. Rain at times anywhere from the morning to the evening. I think a little more persistent washout type rain south of St. Louis, but at times we'll have periods of rain even in the metro with a cold high of 50 degrees. So much colder Saturday and Sunday, but the rain Sunday is mainly in the morning and dry in the afternoon with a chilly high of 49. A dry day Monday before another chance of rain. This one's Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, but moves out for a dry Thanksgiving. Steve, thank you. That's your news for update. Remember that, remember that we're always on on the KMOV News app and KMOV.com.